everyone, Emily here and welcome to the fourth episode of the Weekly Wrap. I'll be giving you the rundown of my favourite gaming and pop culture news from the week and in this episode we're going to chat about the Xbox Series X and S pre-orders, Xbox acquiring Bethesda, a new free game that I recommend everyone jump on and play, and the latest collab for Cyberpunk 2077. Plus stay tuned to the end of this video and take a look at what I've been playing this week. Around two weeks ago, Xbox announced the time and date that the Series X and Series S was going to go live for pre-orders. Now everyone was really ecstatic about this news because they knew when they should be in front of their computers to secure their next console. Unfortunately, that's not what happened for Xbox fans here in Australia. Now in the land down under, the console sold out within 15 minutes. I was online during that time and I kept trying to order and I have to say, in my personal experience, I think it sold out in under 10 minutes. The gamesmen, JB Hi-Fi and EB Games have all removed the ability to pre-order the next-gen console from Microsoft and there is no word yet on further stock for 2021. Now this begs the question, should brands announce when the pre-orders are going to go live or should they just drop it upon us? My personal preference is they should drop pre-orders quickly and without notice. You're sitting there right now thinking, why M? Well, I felt I had more of a chance to secure the PlayStation 5. With the Series X, I wasn't able to pre-order one for launch. They were all snapped up within minutes and I do have one pre-ordered, but it's for December 2020. So let me know in the comments section, what is your preference? Would you like to know the date that the pre-orders are going to go live? or you don't care and you would like them to be put up quickly and without notice. I awoke to huge news this week that Xbox had acquired Bethesda for $7.5 billion. This acquisition is one of the biggest deals to date in the gaming industry. It's definitely a very exciting time for both brands and I'm hoping to see further games released for Wolfenstein, Doom and Fallout. This is also a huge move for Microsoft and they'll be able to bring all those amazing titles over to Game Pass. So what does this mean for the future of Bethesda's timed exclusive Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo for the PlayStation 5? In an article on Bloomberg, it mentions Phil Spencer and that he said in an interview that Microsoft will keep that commitment. So that's great news for Bethesda and the titles to be released in 2021. Now guys, I would love to hear in the comments section below what your favorite Bethesda games are and which ones you would love to see come over to Game Pass. Are you looking for something new to play? Well, if you haven't played Rocket League before, now's the time. It's now free to play. Epic Games for a limited time are also giving users coupons to play the game. So what are you waiting for? Get some friends together and get playing Rocket League. In other news, another cool collaboration for Cyberpunk 2077 seems to be in the works and it's not what you think it would be. Now on Instagram, Sold by JC posted these shoes three days ago and damn, they look so cool. The collaboration is with Adidas, but they have yet to officially confirm that this is going ahead. I hope they are, they look really cool. Let me know in the comments section if these shoes are something that you would pick up and if we have any sneaker heads in the house, uh, let me know if you would pick up these shoes. This week I've been playing a number of different titles. It's been a lot of fun to jump back into Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. That demo is available for people who have pre-ordered the title. And I've played a number of different games on Game Pass. Definitely the biggest highlights for me was playing Dead Island for the first time and Gato Roboto. I hope you enjoyed the stream highlights and my reaction to playing both of those titles for the very first time. Thank you very much for watching the fourth episode of the Weekly Wrap. If you've got any questions about news that hit this week or any other news, just hit the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Again, don't forget to subscribe and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, hello. Bleach? Oh, hello. What do you get to me? Oh, battery. Of course there's batteries in there. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. I can see me jumping badly in this, actually, everyone. 
It just got creepy all of a sudden. Ah! Oh no, he didn't come. I thought they were coming. anything in here? I don't know, love. Ah! Oh, here we go. Oh, hello. Ah! <laughs> I think he just gave up. Ah! Uh-oh. I don't want to get eaten in the water. Ah! Zombies, but I'm like that just made me absolutely crap myself. Oh my god. Huh? I need another weapon now. I just threw it off oh, for fuck's sake. Ah! Can I just break off one of their arms? Or oh hello, here we go. Ooh. Oh fuck, they're everywhere. Oh jeepers. 30 meters. How many do they want to be? Oh no. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna die! We're gonna ah! Pirate Pete Man's coming after me! Oh my god, they sound like they're like in the room behind me. If something touched oh for fuck's Bloody sake. Bloody hell. I agree. Oh god. Is oh that person alive? God. Danger in as those behind <laughs> the activity was <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Time to die, mate. At least there's lots of weapons down here. Oh my gosh. There's zombies everywhere. That was crazy. That was so crazy. Um, but yeah, we will do. We will pick this game back up again. It was definitely a first look for me. Um, I'm definitely very, very scaredy cat when it comes to it. But it was so much fun. When I was flicking through Game Pass this morning, I actually found this little indie game, and it's black and white. It looks like possibly dungeon crawl I'm not sure and I am looking forward to playing it it's <gasps> oh so cute so let's play something a little bit low uh less fast paced <laughs> definitely different but it's, as soon as I seen this title on there I didn't know what this was as I said that's the beauty of game pass there's hundreds of games on there and I was able to obviously pick something that I've never ever seen before and it's got cats in it. So why wouldn't I want to try this game? Go 
against some nails? Oh, so cool. Oh my gosh, look at this music. Looks like Game Boy being played on Super Game Boy. Yeah, it's so cool. It's like so different. Like it's it's not so different than anything else that I'd be interested in playing. I can't believe I didn't hear this game before and I only found out about it this morning from going through Game Pass. It's so good.